hi guys welcome back to my channel and my tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to create a slicer which shows the data for the last seven days or 15 days or anything that you would like to have on your dashboard for example i have a, the uh, sales data set here and i would like to visualize the sales for a particular date in let's say in last 30 days or last 15 days or last seven days so i have a slicer there and all the dates are mentioned in that particular slicer and I can go and select the date to visualize the sales for that particular day. So let's get started. So let's add the order date column here. This is what we are going to use here in this scenario. And then I'm going to click on the slicer filter so that we change the visual here to slicer. And then from this drop down here, I'm going to select order date because we are not looking for hierarchy. And then I'm going to open the filter here and I'll go to the order date and then click on relative date. And there you have option is in the last, is in this, is in the next, right? So um, for this particular scenario, we're going to use is in the last and say, let's say we want the sales data for last 15 days. So I'm going to type in 15 and here you have an option if you want to include today or you don't want to include today. And you can also do this by weeks, by calendar weeks, by months, by years, etc. So right for now, we will do it for 15 days and say not including today and then click on apply filter. Right now we have this filter which is created. Let's quickly go and increase the size of this particular uh, visual text. You can see that we've now created a slicer here, uh, which will, which is giving us the date here for last 15 days, right? So the last day that we have here is uh, 7th of Jan. That's the latest data that we have. That's why we have less number of dates visible here. But so if you click on 1st Jan 2022, you get the sales here for 1st Jan 2022. Likewise for the other uh, date, right? So this is a quick and simple way to filter the slicer for n number of days based on your requirement. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Consider subscribing to my channel for more such